Hello, good morning. We're back again. Breath of the Wild, 100%. Warpless. Riding on a stationary bike, adding exercise while playing video games. Um, so today, well, let's take a look at our map, although this, we don't have a lot of map right here. We started the Great Plateau, looped around, and found our way up to... Not Riverside Stable, though we did stop there yesterday, but this other one that's right up the road. Today is Kakariko Village, finally. Going where basically we were supposed to be going. Right after the pot so There's a lot of shiny stuff in here. Forage for a sec, shall we? Um, we've got a couple things to do here. Unlock. <laughs> Pretty long story. All right. It is Majora's Mask. Good morning, actually. Yes. I, I looped around and picked it up after missing it the first time. But it's supposed to give, uh, kind of a buff like all the monster masks do. So, that'd, that'd be useful. Very cute dog story. Well, let's see. Well, that's where we are. This guy has to say, raw meat, I've got two in my inventory, fortified coffee, and actually, let's grab one of those. I feel like we might need one of those for the cooking mission. Ah. Just one. Oh. Oh, so fast, we have some heavy. Oh. Yeah, the spear is cl clashing with the Boko shield. Oh. I'm still very much in early days where any piece of wood with a bone strapped to it it'll, uh, will be good enough. Let's hear it, Cass. Oh. But soon we're going to get more proper attire. At some point we'll put away our Nintendo Switch t-shirt. That's is great. Oh, this is actually a story about 10,000 years ago. That was the successful battle in history. 
We cannot upgrade the Switch t-shirt at the very fan. It would be funny, but uh, all the DLC is, is as is. So. Just, just for the cuteness now. Same with Majora's Mask, same with all of them. But that's actually going to be pretty, you know, standard for us for a while, because upgrading uh, requires getting the other items and all of the uh, upgrades and being at a fairy fountain. We're not warping, so... We'll see. Oh, it's got the music too is good. It's uh, got parts of the final battle music, which is one of the best tracks in the game. Thanks, Cass. Actually, we're probably going to hear another version of the story because we probably will see it the today. A little story time is part of the fun, part of the game. Let's read this. Builds her a pure heart. They would never lie. Alright. I think there's one quest to initiate over here. What's this kid's deal? Marker somewhere here. Uh, here we go. Treasure ah. Ah. bed out of a treasure chest out of a river, you say? Help you sleep, sir, by taking this treasure for ourselves. Ooh, look at ah, I should have uh, found the salmon. What a nice broadsword. Good one. All right, what are we dropping for that? I did open it already.
little fishy. Okay. So there is a Korok seed in the forest to the south. We'll grab that. We'll jump on our horse. One thing I noticed yesterday is that taking the horse everywhere it feels a little bit like I'm skipping through things, or at least skipping past things. In early game, I do want to collect a lot of stuff. So we're going to take the horse up to Kakariko, but I think next next time after that, I may just kind of walk uh, myself for a bit as I collect a lot of things. I need to collect. Okay. Ooh, coarser beer. Hey, honey. Okay, this... Hey, where is that? I spent like five hours. Oh, here we go. At least five hours on this damn thing. Um, okay. Somewhere around here, the Korok. Okay. I guess not. Let's take a quick look here. Where are we? Burn away the brambles. Or float over them. Oh, there's bramble. Ooh. There's a deer. But that deer is running away. Oh, probably. Ah, uh, there's our brambles. We don't, we don't need to waste a fire arrow on this. Oh, come on. Although, I may not make that. Alright. <laughs> Always a fire arrow on this. Supposedly a chest with an opal around here, too. Easy to spot, I'll grab it. Trying to not spend too much time running around in circles looking for it. Oh, hardy radish though. Getting that hardy radish. Dunks. This is a another Korok. Mm 
That didn't work very well. Uh, I'm gonna risk a couple of whacks with this to help. I'm gonna do two bombs. Kind of looking at me. I'll give him another apple. We're not at full, uh, full step. That's it, anyway. Enjoy. Alright. We're now going up this slope. Link, link to the past fans out there. This is called Sahasra Slope. Reference to Sahasrala, one of the sages and past. That's fun. But yeah, we're going, we're going to climb until we're going up to the back entrance of Kakariko. Because that's closest. in somewhere to our right, so but I don't think we should run anything. Yeah. I think this is gonna be where we are. So additionally, you hang here, Chunks, and or roam free. Uh I don't need to talk to every traveling mark I can come across on the road, do I? What I wanna do is I want to take this up and kind of mountain hop on our way to the village proper because Korok seeds. Of course. The only thing we play for. Did I just lose some sound? Oh, I'm losing sound. I don't have sound on my headphones. These might uh, have lost power, so I'm going to do a quick switch. Hopefully everyone can hear me still. Okay, I've got sound back. Sorry about that. Back to the <laughs> back to the big headphones, but we'll get those charged. Uh, the little guys charged next time. All right, what was I doing? Uh, we are climbing. We are hunting. If we happen to come across any any wild any game within range of this boomerang, boomerang hunting I found was very useful in this game. Since it's not involved arrows, which oh, I just threw away like half of what I had. Okay, uh, this is also a little challenging to navigate without a map, but what are you going to do? There should not be anything on this peak. There should be something in this valley, those three trees, and something on that peak. So let's go peak to peak for the sake of conserving a little stamina, perhaps. In the climb, uh, quite the climb. We should be able to make it without having to use items.
Okay, now let's pop down here. They got the one. Right here, which is something. What am I knocking over these trees? What is this? Two of these trees have only one apple. The third looks. Make the third look like them. I'm not saying that this has to be the exact, I have to grab the exact apple. How, how about zero? How do we feel about zero? I can grab all of the apples off the tree. Oh, come on, I got that. These trees are going to look very similar when they're all stumps if this is how this can keep going. The trees look like each other, but uh, I did not get this one. Um, I guess this is one that I'll just have to wait until next time I come around. Failed Korok seed. Oh well. I did. I did what I. I did what I would. Uh, okay, so let's head into the into the village here. We're not gonna have. The ability to climb and all this rain, but what else is new? A couple of Korok suits here. Oh, there's the one with all the things sticking out of the target. We'll get that one. Now, before we get all the arrows sticking out of this target. Too. Although I guess that's probably up on the... Yeah, it's on that ledge, so we're not going to be getting to the ledge. And here we are. Great. Maybe we should take Majora's mask off. This guy's old enough to just be alive during the calamity. <laughs> guy's really pushing the sweet carrots, swift carrots. Definitely gonna do this. 
this, yeah. Painter friend over there. It is possible. It can be. Oh. Oh, now we're friends. <laughs> Man. Look out. Since you were little, she could wait a little bit longer. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Our story time. I really wish you would have just written it down, but here we are. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I've died like seven times already. Okay, now it's good. Recount, recount. There we go. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. We just heard a song about this legend. A bird sang it to us. That doesn't sound like I'm making it up at all. As a highly advanced. 
advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters pose little threat to the denizens of the realm. But the realm was still People concerned with monsters as a general to problem. Utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. You know, they should have had a special item in this game, which is this, like, tapestry thing that they keep using in the background of the animation stories. Like, find it in the basement of the castle somewhere, and then you could bring it back to the your hut in Hateno and just put it on the wall. That would be cool. They should have done that. skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Well, it's probably just sitting in Impa's place. She's like, well, I can't give this up. With my storytelling tapestry. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero... <laughs> it's just a blanket on her bed. ...inside these four champions against this ancient evil. I wonder if somebody has made it on Etsy. That's a good point. If such a thing exists, Etsy would surely be the place. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Impa knows more about what it's like to live with tablets than most people. She's insisted. Like, see, this is your destiny! Okay. Third thing, Impa. Wait a minute. Are you supposed to, be able to tell me about the memories? Does she have anything else to say? Huh? Maybe I have to, I have to come back for them? Take a look at my quest log. Lock mementos. Right, I don't have memories yet. Hey, this may adjust my route if I have to pop back over here, but perhaps it will give me more time. Hey, where's Pekanga? Give me more time to accumulate some money. Um, all right, let's talk to this guy. We're gonna be hanging around doing doing the quests around here. Um, I think...
I think we'll I'll run up and do the shrine now. Might as well do that. Talk to him to start our cuckoo quest. Echo is required for any Kakariko village. Actually gives me a quest to go up to the. I guess it's not important that I talk to him first. Maybe it's just this person. Oh, this is a Kuku. Wish. Uh, how are we doing? Good, 25 minutes left. I'm glad I decided to make this an hour. feel like I can dig in more. We heard the story of Kalan began in 10,000 years ago, twice today. Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, but this is, this is uh, the village. There's no way this is going to be anything but minor. Knowledge. DJ. All right, looks like a test of strength type place, but uh, hey, I'm just a legendary hero. I'm not the shrine architect. I could find something for that. Sorry, emblazoned shield. Actually, that that shield was nice and emblazoned. Sorry, Boko shield. Ball blade, nice. Ooh. I'm gonna come back for the safe old blade. What's what's the gimmick here? Yeah, just like I thought. Okay, look like a different color. for this tutorial. Thank you. 
Oh, there we go. Spring. We need more ancient shafts. Afraid I'm not gonna have those before I hit the tan. I mean, I'm gonna have to look up where I can find some ancient shafts. All this work getting, ooh, twenty. All this work getting all those ancient cores and caught up by the shafts. All right. Um, this thing is probably. Damage, it cold plays better, so let's grab that. I think somebody wants a picture of the fairy ceremony. Well, we're still gonna unlock the fairy fountain. And that only costs a hundred, I think. Hopefully it'll sneak and grab some fairies. There'll be some Endora carrots rolling around. Maybe some good item items to grab. Hey, it's not even raining anymore. Let's very sprint. I the, the gimmick was going to be that I was going to sprint and I put the link sprints. I'm, I think I'm going okay with that. Oh, do the fairies not show up until we. Oh, no, there they are. Of course, at the rate I've been dying, these fairies are going to last like. A hot second, but we've got our three, so that means if we can catch this, we'll get four. The fairies only spawn if you've got less than three, but then you can collect more, obviously. And then I load up on fairies. Fairy fans are always great because they usually have these high value uh, crops growing around. Like, Endora carrots in particular. Well, not all of them are good at, at least I haven't found them all. War <laughs> stories. Dora carrots are great. They're top level carrot. And endurance. That's the thing. Power is overflowing with 100 rupees. I need somebody with more means to help me on this quest. 100 rupees is nothing. Save it up for a house!
Hey, pants upgrades. Mm. Yes, please. Ah. Level two pan. Oh, well, actually, that's because I've only unlocked one fairy. You can only upgrade levels according to however many fairies you've unlocked, so. We'd need to find another one before we get any level two or anything. Just look at these pants, alright? Look how sturdy. Uh, let's. Pop out on the outside here and float to. Borak, I think. Stamina shrooms, we're gonna have to grab those. <laughs> Just wandering around under, under Impus floorboards. Oh, there's another shroom. But it's very mushroomy down here. I guess that's what happens when you build your house in front of a waterfall. few quests to do. We don't have, uh, the kids are usually running around playing with two of them have a quest, but it is five in the morning. Hey. <laughs> Ma. Wait a minute, what about the... Do I have to buy something? Do I have plenty of rupees? Oh. Oh. Ma. <laughs> oh. Ma. To go do our young hunk thing and uh like the Ooh, I might be able to do this without I'm just gonna use fire arrows. But I am gonna try and get a double head. Okay. That worked. I did have to stop pedaling, but I only have so many fire arrows. Everything is on a razor thin margin here, so I can't afford too many wasted shots. Yes, I am already. Ah. Twenty bucks. Oh. More importantly, it was a quest. It's fine. Speaking of her husband and his pucko obsession, yeah. there's Pekanga. Yeah, I must have to go to the Kateno village and come back before I unlock the memories. Mm. 
Right, because I need to unlock the camera. Right? Thanks. Alright, um, well, until we see some kids running around for those other quests, we're looking for Krakos. Got two. I think they are in set locations. I do not know. I mean, I've done this a few times, but don't know exactly where they are. We're just gonna wander around the village and grab them. That's like a teeter. Tell lizard. Yeah. That's three. I think there's six total. This is four or five, I think, I think, uh, we're only one to one. Oh, there's one of these kids. Oh, that's the hide and seek one, I think. Definitely we're gonna play hide and seek over tag, because... Oh no, this is the cooking one. Must be rough going through a separation in such a small town. That's fair, but then how the hell am I going to get this bird? Until nighttime, I guess? 9 a.m. Uh, there's one more around here somewhere. All of the campfires are out because it's raining. Okay, I think the other one is up. Kind of hanging out on one of these ridges, if I recall correctly. Yeah. But closer to kind of the direction, that direction. So I'm going to climb up and try and do that. Then we'll try and kill time. And see if we can get into that plum garden to grab that other go at night. Can't set foot in that thing. How are we doing? 823. Still, uh, still good. Plenty of time to continue to do quests here in Kakariko. I think the other guy is up here. I'm sure there'll be a Korox that we can grab with the effort of walking around. Oh, 
Yeah, I must be mistaken. I thought I thought I thought there was one like around here somewhere. Alright, well this is close to the beginning. There's a ledge somewhere with a Korok. Unnecessary to do that much. Yeah. All right. Oh, I guess I could rest at the inn. That would be a way to pass time. And we do have to find the, I think, the last rain in Krakow. Sword. Duh. Boom, this woman is still around because, of course, she always is. Oh, that's bad. We gotta hear this whole lecture again. Let's rest at the fire here. Oh, no, we can do our other quest. Cooking with Coco. Tasty soup. You're not a bad dog, are you? Your knowledge of your local grocer is bad, but you're not bad. <laughs> so I think we could finish these cooking quests. And that's probably a good place to call it a day. I guess I didn't need the four or five pumpkin because I was I was in charge of the meat. Okay. 
Okay. Raw meat. I've just been carrying around with me for the past few weeks. Just in my pocket. Next to the Hinox guff. Alright, and a bunch of side quests complete. I think that's a very good and productive day. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Be back tomorrow with more Kakariko Village, probably. And uh, yeah, so have a good day. See you next time. Later. <laughs>